Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and I'm making a short tutorial on how you can make a basic box and whiskers plot using spreadsheets. So I've taken the same data that we discussed in the dot plot video uh, from lesson 10 here, um, and I have intentionally put it out of order. Now, I could put it into order if I wanted to, and I, uh, if I were going to make a box and whiskers plot by hand instead of using a spreadsheet, that's what I'd do. I'd select the data, I would grab sort range, and I would sort the data from smallest to greatest. All right. I don't want to do that, so I control Z uh, to go back uh, and left it out of order. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need to uh, create some... Um, formulas. So I'm going to label some things. I'm going to put a label here, minimum. Okay. And then I'm going to have quartile one, and then I'm going to have quartile three, and then I'm going to have maximum. Now you might notice I left out the median and that's where I said this is an imperfect box and whiskers plot, uh, but it will still get you the basics that you need. Okay, now I'm going to calculate the minimum. And here's how you do that. You say equals min for minimum. And then I put in parentheses the range. And then in parentheses. Okay, now I'm going to say equals quart. Actually, quartile. Notice it actually gives you a little information about what you need uh, as you start to type it. And I'll start parentheses. And then I'm going to select that data. And then I want quartile one. So I'm going to say comma one for quartile one in parentheses. And that is quartile one. Now I'm going to do the same thing here equals quartile again, and then I grab the same set of data, and then comma, you might have guessed it already, three for quartile three in my parentheses, and now I have quartile three. And now I'm going to type in the maximum, I'm gonna say equals, you might have guessed it, max for max, in parentheses, grab the data, select it all, and then in parentheses, and we're done. So we have our these four points. Uh, and you might want to also, off to the side, calculate the median, but you won't need to for making this box and whiskers plot. Now I'm going to say data set. I'm just, gonna, I'm just putting in a label there. And I select these five cells. I don't want to select anything else. I'm just selecting this row. And then I'm going to go and either hit insert and grab chart, or I can just go click this icon of a bar graph and say insert chart. Now, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to try and make a column chart. Okay, that's very nice. Minimum, first quartile, sec third quartile, and maximum. And they go up uh, as one might expect those to go. But I'm actually going to select something else. And I'm going to go down here to this weird little graph called a candlestick chart. I'm going to select that and now I have created myself a vertical box and whiskers plot. So down here is the low end, up here is the high end, this is quartile three, this is quartile one. Now it still would be useful I think for us to find out what the median is so let's do that. I'm going to just uh, calculate that here. I'm just going to say median. And then I'm going to say equals, I'll put it right under it, equals median in parentheses. And then I'll grab, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong button. I'll grab my data, make sure I'm getting it all. Okay, selecting it all in parentheses. My median is 10. So in fact, this nice little line here does represent the median. Now you might notice this data is quite symmetrical uh, as it was with the dot plot, uh, which had a symmetrical, a symmetric distribution. And there you go. That is a quick, easy way to make 
a box and whiskers. Let's say we want to, you can adjust the size and shape of that if you would like. Uh, there may be a way to rotate this, but I haven't figured it out. Of course, you can always get a, a little screenshot of this. I can do this sort of thing and uh, grab what I have here, uh, move it into another document. And once I've put an image in, uh, then I can, of course, uh, capture that. I can, of course, rotate the image if I prefer to see my uh, box and my whisker, my box plot, uh, what is sometimes called a box and whiskers plot uh, horizontally. But this does the job um, with the only exception that you do need to think about what the median is. All right, I hope that was helpful to you. Okay, and I want to end that so I can end this. There we go.